What's up, everybody? My name is Vyam Tonga. I can't listen from a colony yet with another video. And, and, then I'm Kayla. Today, we're talking about five beginner mistakes that you guys make that Nam have also made. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to solve those mistakes. So, number one is... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. JPEG. Yeah, shooting a JPEG. There's nothing wrong with shooting a JPEG. Now I'm gonna and I'll shoot an app and I shoot a JPEG. No, talk all by my camera, obvious feature and setting with JPEG. So the no net appeal on JPEG is that if we should take a picture, I'll call it underexposed. And when all your good post production, so when it's a light draw, or camera raw, or any Photoshop, it's, it's very difficult to keep the quality of the picture because now when you say exposure, when you say exposure, exposure equality, yes, that's the only problem I have with shooting with JPEG. Yes, if you're shooting JPEG, let's example, you shoot at, um, a mini or a malanga, you shoot any picture, a grand, you don't need to use the pattern, exposure and overexposure, and exposure, pre-production. It's very easy not to lose Elendo's, pardon me, you're not going to lose Elendo's equality with picture, but to solve this solution is you need to stop shooting with JPEG and start shooting with raw. Oh, fuck. Raw. Namasimba. Let me say why raw namasimba is because when you shoot with raw, we have a variety of options of how you can actually go post production. Or when you say e -E -E exposure, you're still maintaining the quality of the picture. You're not losing anything. That is an advantage of, losing, of using raw and also when so raw man banal ba yes no professional and one or you can professional kubon so gone ba so yeah that is an advantage of shooting with the raw is is that you're gonna have a variety of options when you're in the post-production and you will still maintain the quality of the picture if you shot Unexposed, and when you picture you are unexposed, you'll be able to buy when you say go click post production, and then you have a nice clear picture, and then that shows about we professional. So moving on to the next point is number two, lighting. Yeah, this one. Now I'm decided by cars. Well, I'm not a I'm not a fan of. The artificial lighting but we need lighting but i'm really not a fan of artificial lighting i'm mostly like a, a natural photog natural lighting kind of guy in photography so so now how do i make my pictures look crisp so i usually use my hand eh? so when i use my hand i usually in the chica and then because my hand will show me about uh how my picture would look like. Obviously, I have to do it on test, but I usually use my hand to see, but okay, no, go get harsh, go okay, right? Because you know what makes a, a picture looks like a photo I made is when it looks in the shadows. You know, sometimes Jack can have shadows under the eyes. But yeah, now to solve low problem about lighting because Photography is mostly about lighting. If picture is crisp and sharp, is that you need to get the lighting right. Understanding lighting can change your photography game. I'm telling you, whether using artificial lighting or using natural lighting, whatever lighting that you prefer. But if you understand lighting, now get a video. It's well lit. You guys can actually watch it because the light is but now the problem is when I understand the lighting we amateur, everything you in it's just we amateur. But yeah, now I'm here to help you to up to level up if photography came here cable is to understand lighting. So to recap the chapter is that you need to just use your hand if using initial lighting about and I like shooting a malang a golden hour. So a golden hour it really helps shooting a golden hour because number twelve and one long at that peak. So it, sometimes you get harsh shadows unless you're doing it intentional and you want an intentional picture. Uh, then that's cool. But yeah, that's how you learn to that. You can 
fix lighting learner but lighting and understand light because the long earlier shifter so yeah so moving on to the next point is so when you're taking a picture uh okay now now I've, I've done this many many times i'm i'm a victim of this because sometimes it's very very difficult to get a sharp image now i'm the victim of getting blurry images but what i've noticed is that here's a little trick is that when you're taking a picture focus on the eye like fuck like focus on the eye if you focus on the eye i'm telling you pictures are kozoba no no you have that crisp and sharp image with post production when you when you photoshop and you zooming in you will see like the crisp blend out your skin because you know when you get the eye right like no so background especially if you do if you do a portrait so focusing on the eye really really improves your game to avoid having blurry images because when you have a blurry images unless it's intentional but sometimes it doesn't look great like i book cake but if you get that crisp sharp image chana chali kalela the kalela like you've literally have leveled up your photography game kalela so that is my trick is to to you but just focus on the eye i'm telling you things will be better for you in those apply images let's move from that because you know what we are fucking pros we are fucking pros so moving on to the next point is what am i guys ladies and gentlemen i understand but we are advertiser like or maybe LTV photography or GTV photographer okay where are you getting all those names it's just fucking names <laughs> but yeah just stop doing as what am i i don't know like you just it's taking away it's taking a lot away from the picture like you making the focus on that watermark instead of on the adjoining a picture or both of a picture now when it's really making you being hard to admit like trust me okay even my friend is a guilt he could kill to get away okay even though yeah okay you being in but still known what i make if someone wants to steal your picture will steal your picture and i understand if you know the advertiser but that's not how to go on about it because it goes be weak yo like abanya bayenzi benkulu le we be like yo this picture is so nice but it's just that in a watermark yeke ni watermark kwenzi ubuke ku weak kwenzi umqhaka kwenzi ametha yeke like if umamelele video unbukele ntetha yeke namhlanje ngoku stop doing it like trust me if you stop doing this even this will elevate a photography game because i'm now what i'm like if you are a pros well known photographers as now what i'm like name one photography that you know a professional in a what i'm like that you know every of as why i'm waiting ayiko 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 so now we Yeke, okay, sort of wrong on this, but okay, yeah, you know, he 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 But anyways, moving on to my last point is saturation and vibration. Eh, I wanna click click Lena, consume because sometimes you know when you play with la la way your saturation and vibration, you can actually go overboard, look back, and now it makes your picture looks. very saturated like for instance if i was wearing a, a, a red thing like if i make the red pop too much ungumdu jongela ndi red ngona ubuso abu balance so now this thing makes you looks like an amateur because there's no balance between the vibration and saturation which is it makes your picture look like okay now my eyes my eyes where are they drawn to are they drawn to this lendo e red why they drawn to ubuso balom or lomdu mhle ab now i've been a victim of this exercise a guy like who was wearing yellow or blue i 
Get at me. They then's mess pa. And then's mess. You know, sometimes when you know, sometimes when Uncle Post Production will be the power and the ways out. The Bami was in his family, but hey, <laughs> he just. I mean, great uh, so, You know, sometimes the more the more time goes by, the more you learn, the more you toss up really good pictures. I go like, yo, I know my has been since and now, but yeah, I'm leaving team alone and I yeah, it because it really takes like a picture. I go, I not balance, and when's the week? So when you editing picture, I go just must be about a cool Lightroom, kind of like map. I mean, like histogram. Sorry, histogram. So like histogram. Pay attention to the histogram because when it's over, when when it's overboard, it literally shows you. But okay, no, the picture is oversaturated. About so at least I can saturation or vibration. About so yeah, that is the tips and tricks that I have for you in this video. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button. And guys, then I appreciate it for Bukela and turning in in this video. And and it can as I'm from my colony, check it out. Oh, oh yeah, bro, it's no man need like yaking or a mock. You are a mark, you're a yeke. You're a yeke. Wogu, wogu.